no. I'd be a lot better off if I would have studied more when I was growing up, you know? But you know where it all went wrong was the day they started the spelling bee. Because up until that day, I was an idiot, but nobody else knew, you know? When the spelling bee day, you know, popped up. All right, kids, up against the wall. It's time for public humiliation. Spell a word wrong, sit down in front of your friends. You know, that's great for little egos. Hey, look at me, I'm a moron. I wasn't even close. I was using numbers and stuff. That's why I admired that kid who spelled it wrong on purpose so he could sit down, you know? He knew he wasn't gonna win, so why stand there for three hours? First round, cat, K-A-T, I'm out of here. Then as he passed you, <laughs> I know there's two T's. <laughs> I remember my teacher asked me, Brian, what's the I before E roll? Oh. Um, I before E, always. <laughs> what are you, an idiot, Brian? Well, apparently. So she explains it, no, Brian, it's I before E, except after C, and when sounding like A is a neighboring way, and on weekends and holidays and all throughout May, and you'll always be wrong no matter what you say. Oh, that's a hard rule. That's a, that's a rough rule. Plurals were hard, too. Brian, how do you make a word a plural? Oh, you, you put an S. You, you put an S at the end of it. When? <sighs> On weekends and holidays. <laughs> no, Brian. No, let me show you. So she asked this kid who knew everything, Irwin. Irwin, Irwin, what is he plural for ox? Oxen. The farmer used his oxen. Brian, what? <laughs> Brian, what's the plural for box? Boxing. <laughs> I bought two boxing of donuts. Oh, no, Brian, no.